The Paper Plane, a modern classic cocktail made with bourbon and Amaro Nonino. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make one. This has got to be another one of my absolute favorite cocktails. If you watched my last video on how to make a Naked and Famous, which you can find right here, you'll know that this was the cocktail that actually inspired the Naked and Famous, at least in part. And in that way, you can kind of view this video as like almost like a part two to the last video that I did. But before I get too far ahead of myself, if you're new here, my name is Louie, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I post cocktail recipes, just talk about some of my favorite spirits, bartending tips and tricks, and I talk a little bit about what it's like to own my own restaurant and bar. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, I would come on right over here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I would really appreciate it. That way you would never miss out on any of my videos. Now, enough talking about me, let's get back to this incredible cocktail. The Paper Plane is a fantastic cocktail created by Sam Ross while he was bartending at Little Branch in New York City. The way he tells it, he was tasked with creating a cocktail using Amaro Nonino, and he was listening to the song Paper Planes by MIA, and he just put these recipes together, and voila, out came the Paper Plane. I've been introduced to this cocktail from a number of different bartenders that I've worked with, and it has got to be in my top five favorite cocktails of all time. It's a little citrusy, it's a little bitter, it has some of those delicious caramel notes from the bourbon. It is just an exquisite, all-round good cocktail, and I can't get enough of it, so let's jump on in and get right to it. And much like the Naked and Famous, this is a cocktail that is four different ingredients in equal parts. So we're gonna grab our shaker here, this is a shaking cocktail, grab our jigger, and we are going to, again, start from the cheapest ingredient, going to the most expensive. We are going to grab our lemon juice and we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. We are then going to do three quarters of an ounce of Aperol. I always do this, I always seem to over pour on the Aperol because there's no little speed pour, but we'll leave some in there. We should probably fix that. And then we are going to do three quarters of an ounce of our bourbon. I'll be honest with you, I'm not really sure what bourbon Sam Ross originally did it with, but I'm going to do St. George's Breaking and Entering because that's how I roll. And I fly like paper, get high like planes. If you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name. So come at me. <laughs> then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of our bourbon. And last but not least, we are going to do three quarters of an ounce of Amaro Nonino which is an incredibly delicious and smooth Amaro. It's a little bitter. It has almost like a small little nutty hint to it. It makes, it makes incredible cocktails and it's a fantastic Amaro to add to your collection. But all right, now that we got our four ingredients in there, we're gonna fill up this bad boy with some ice and give it a good shake. Grab our cocktail glass, our coupe, and we're going to double strain this one as well. And again, this cocktail neither needs nor has any garnish, and it actually looks pretty similar to the Naked and Famous, but it is in a whole other world all unto itself. So let's give this one a little taste. I am so pumped. Mmm, that is delicious. It has, it's a little nutty, a little bitter, pretty citrusy, and just overall very smooth because of that bourbon. It is an incredible, incredible cocktail, and there's a good reason why it's considered a modern classic. You should definitely give this one a shot if you can. I understand that some of these ingredients are a little bit more expensive, but it's totally worth it. Also, just ask a local bartender if he can make you one. Usually that might be a good place to start, but excellent, excellent cocktail one that I cannot recommend enough. But there you have it guys. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you can come over here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what you think. Put down in the comments what you think of this cocktail recipe. Have you heard about it before? Or if you just have suggestions on the next cocktail you'd like to see me make on camera. I'm always responding and I'm always engaging with the people who are actually watching this video and I'm always looking for recommendations on the next cocktail you'd like to see me do. But all right, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.